A recent interview with Daisy Ridley has shed even more light on a topic that many of us in the Star Wars community have been talking about, and that was the fact that the sequel trilogy didn't seem to have much of a plan for an overarching story for the whole trilogy. This has been something that's been widely talked about and is mostly seen as the biggest flaw in the sequel trilogy. So why would Disney, after acquiring perhaps the biggest franchise of all time, would they then go on to make a trilogy with no plan whatsoever? Let's go back to 2013, 2014, when The Force Awakens was just being started. You know, it was in pre-production, they were just planning it out. The big thing, it seems, that The Force Awakens aimed to do was to rectify the mistakes of the prequel trilogy. You see, at the time, the internet and I guess all of the Star Wars fanbase was pretty much certain that they hated the prequel trilogy and that nothing could redeem it and it was the worst. Pretty much the way people feel about the sequels now is how people felt about the prequels then. Because that's just how it goes. Whatever the newest Star Wars thing is, it broke the old Star Wars and it shouldn't be canon and it's hated. There are going to be people in the comments that are refuting the fact that the prequels were hated, but that's just a fact. Yes, people like the prequels now, because it's had time for people to grow up with it, it's had time for people to start enjoying it, as the sequels will in future. But at the time of 2013-2014, the prequels were still widely hated. So when everyone came together to make Episode 7, the first thing they wanted to do was to not do the things that the prequels did. Not rely so much on CGI, instead you were using practical effects. Not so much have a story structure like the prequel trilogy, instead have one more like the originals. The feel, the stormtroopers, the legacy cast. The Force Awakens was very much there to try and reinstill the feelings that the original trilogy did, not the prequels. Now, I think the reason they didn't plan it is because that's how the original trilogy was. I think they didn't only want to emulate the feeling and the effects and the look of the original trilogy, but also the development process. You see, George Lucas made the original Star Wars, or as we now know it, Episode 4, as a standalone movie. He wanted to make more, but in the end, the trilogy he originally planned was actually all squashed into A New Hope. The Death Star was meant to be the finale of his trilogy. He didn't expect his movie to blow up. No one did. Which means Star Wars was seen as just that. One movie, Star Wars. But then, obviously, it became a massive hit, and he decided to make more. So he made Empire as a continuation of the story that was not planned. The Luke, I am your father twist was not planned. In A New Hope, that was not a story beat. That was something made after the fact when Empire came around. And then when Return of the Jedi came, out, or came around, Leia being Luke's sister was invented for that movie. All of these changes, all of these twists, were made as they went. The movies were made as they went, because there was no plan for the original trilogy until it happened. I think that's what they wanted to emulate when it came to the sequel trilogy. They knew people didn't like the prequels, they knew people liked the originals, and so they thought, let's get a new director for every movie, just like the originals did, remember they all had different directors in each film of the originals. So for the sequels, let's have a new director each film, and let's just go with it the same way the original trilogy did. Now, I think this was a big mistake. The reason the original trilogy didn't have a plan going all the way through is because they didn't know they were going to be making more movies. How could they have? But here, they went in knowing they were making a trilogy. They went in knowing there were going to be three films and they were going to make one cohesive story. They should have made a plan. I understand why they didn't. They wanted to capture that renegade filmmaker style that the originals had. But the problem is, Disney's the biggest film corporation in the world right now. You can't have that renegade feeling unless you let go of your, you know, corporate reins over these films. And that's what they did with The Last Jedi, and that's why I like it so much. It is Ryan Johnson's vision, for better or for worse. It's his movie. You can feel his style. Watch Knives Out, completely different movie, but you feel the same style of filmmaking. Ryan Johnson had control. But then look at The Rise of Skywalker. You can see right there that that isn't a filmmaker's film. 
that's a corporation's attempt to do damage control because half of a fan base was screaming online about the previous movie. Disney tried to have that renegade filmmaker style, but they didn't have the courage to see it through. Now, I just want to say now um, that this is, you know, just a theory. Again, no, <laughs> it is just a theory, but it seems about right to me. I can't see any other reason why, again, the biggest corporation in the world would choose to not plan for something. And if you look at the rest of the production of The Force Awakens, if you watch the documentaries about The Force Awakens, it's pretty clear that every choice they made was in an attempt to recapture that feeling of the original trilogy. Which isn't bad at all, I just think that in the end when it came to movies like The Rise of Skywalker, they just fumbled the landing just a little bit. What do you guys think? What do you guys think? Do you think that this whole thing was because of what I'm saying, or was there some other reason? Was it an incompetency on some level? Tell me what you guys think in the comments down below. I'll try and read and respond to as many comments as I can. Thank you so much for watching today's video, and I hope you have a great day.